everyone and welcome to the Taz Morning Show. Today, we all will be getting some insights on astrophotography from our guest, Yaya Al-Kindi, who is an avid astrophotographer. He also takes occasionally some people to the amazing places in Oman to show them the night sky. So, welcome to the show, Mr. Yaya Al-Kindi. Yeah, thank you to give me the time to have this interview with you and your team. I should say that astrophotography is a very unique art. So, I am actually interested to know that when did you actually start astrophotography and uh, how has it been going on? <laughs> yeah, I started before three years almost. Uh-huh. I go one day a trip with some astrophotography to Masera Island. And Masera, you know, is far away from the light pollution. And they, I see the really nice sky there in Masera. And I'm thinking I need to start like him. And I start, this is the, my first moment to see the really night sky in Oma. Yeah. Wow. So, well, uh, it was three years back. So, which was the equipment or which were the uh, gears that you were using for astrophotography? Yeah, my first equipment is Canon 6D Astro Modify with the Reconon lens 14mm. This is my first equipment. Nice. And uh, now since you have been doing astrophotography for three years, which are your equipments that you're using? Yeah, I'm sure there must be a lot. absolutely. I upgrade my equipment. Now I have almost uh, three cameras and a lot of lens. And I have some sky tracker, sky hunter, and I have some slider for the motion for the night sky especially all this equipment for the night sky and a lot of things i buy it for upgrade my work in astrophotography right, right. so well in uh, astrophotography you must have had amazing uh, moments right you must have taken some really beautiful pictures so till now which was your favorite moment i'm sure there must be two three favorite moments so which has been your favorite yeah, every time we go to every, uh, for uh, astrophotography, after we finish our trip, we see our photo, it will be vibrant. But the vibrant, vibrant moment when we take the photo for the green light in Gabal uh, al in 12 May, this is the vibrant. And this is, uh, we are very lucky we take it because we are the first one to do it, this in Oman. Yeah, we still remember that night. Can you tell me a little bit about about it? Because I know it's made uh, good news, right? That uh, the green lights are visible in Oman. So, uh, how did that whole thing happen? Like, yeah, at, at, at that day, we are not planning to go to take a photo for the green light because it is almost as possible to see it in Oman. But we have some uh, visitor from El Kuwait come to Oman. Next. And me and two of my friends, we were planning to go to Gebel al sara to show him the night sky in uh, Gebel al sara After we finish uh, interview with him and they enjoy, and we complete the photo. We keep three cameras and take a time lapse until morning. And after five days, we editing the photo. We see there is uh, some pink light come at uh, 12 40 pm and from three cameras the same light is coming uh, we are thinking this is the green light and uh, we discuss with the special person in Oman and he sent the photo to the NASA and the NASA asked it for ask from him the equipment and the location and the time we give him everything and the NASA say yes this is the green light it must have been an amazing moment right? yeah this is the amazing moment wow. I'm so I'm so glad to know that in that uh, context I would like to know that which are your favorite spots in Oban to actually uh, click pictures yeah we have in the summer we go to the mountain because um, the weather condition in the mountain in the summer it will be cold it will be good for us and for our equipment because we take long time for the photo we need good weather and in the winter we go to the desert and we go to al-sharqiya or al-wusta any place far away from the light pollution we go this in the winter but in the summer most of our time in gabal shams and gabal sara which is your favorite jabal shams or jabal sara gabal sara because gabal sara you know have the al-hagar al-gharbi receiver for the light uh, for the starlight yeah 
Nice. Okay. And this is a new information. I did not know that. And because mm-hmm. I'm having to talk to you, so I get to know about this. It's nice. I yeah. Know about this. this Sultan Qabus, Allah yeah. they do it in 2019. Then Gebel Sara, it will be uh, there is a receiver for the light of the star. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they use the special light, not allowed to make a big light in this mountain, a lot of things. So now tell me something, uh, what, how do you consider your photography style different and unique from other photographies? Yeah, there is different uh, type of photography. Some of astrophotography is especially for the deep sky and some of them is especially for the landscape and night sky. And when you're looking for this photo from this person and from this person, all of them is amazing photo. But this is different type, this different type. Everyone have his technique and his special equipment to take the photo from the night sky. And so when uh, you, since you are doing astrophotography, I'm sure you must be using different kind of uh, editing softwares also. Right? Yeah. So could you tell us what kind of editing softwares do you use? Yeah, of course, we have a lot of uh, software to edit the photo. The main software, we use it as a Photoshop and there is star stack and there is a square and there is for the time lapse we use a LR time lapse and there is a lot a lot of software for the astrophotographic. Is there something uh, different that you guys do like astrophotographers do from the other photographers is there something different any different technique or something? Yeah there is a lot of different technique from this person to this person and you can see if you go to see this photo from this person to this person, you see there is other technique and this other technique. They, there is a lot of technique. They use it. Okay. Well, is there any kind of a photography group in Oman that people can join? Like uh, astrophotography Until group? now, really, we don't have the, the group for the photographic. But we have al Gamiya Al-Falakiyya, especially for the space in Oman. You can enjoy with him. They will touch you how to take the photo. Uh, as remember, he's a spider. not big amount if you need to be remember with him, but you will take a lot of things from him. They have special telescope, special equipment, and uh, they do sometimes, they do some celebration and they do uh, traveling to the mountain to take photo. Is there anything that you could advise our viewers who want to start uh, astrophotography? How can they start and, you know, uh, what can they do to improve their techniques? Yeah, everybody can be astrophotography. Only bring, bring his camera. It should be full frame camera with the, with the lens have f1.8, f2.8. And he need to know how to edit the photo. And he will be welcome to our world for astrophotography. Lovely, lovely. Yeah. That's nice. Well, I wish you all the best. In, uh, yeah. And I hope you get to see many more beautiful uh, views in the sky. And you get your uh, lovely photographs out there and people enjoy your content. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for watching the TAS Morning Show. For more updates like these, follow the Arabian Stories.